Hey everybody and welcome to another video by the Peppy Techie. Let's get to it and I'm going to show you how to do it. Today we're going to talk about OneDrive cloud storage versus Dropbox cloud storage. And many of you know I'm a big Dropbox user, but after the 2018 creator update to Windows 10, OneDrive has a feature that Dropbox is going to charge you double for. The biggest one is Selective Sync. So let's take a look at what does that mean. In OneDrive, it's really Office 365. So for $99 a year or $99 a month, which is the exact same price that Dropbox is, and I'll show you right here, this is the $825, which is $99 a year if you bill it monthly, $9.85. This is what I want to show you that's really upsetting me. Dropbox has been saying they were going to do Smart Sync. But they, and which means you'll be able to see all your files even though they're online or in the cloud, you'd still be able to see them all. And what they did is, yeah, you can do it. I pay the $9.95 a month or the $100 a year. But now they're saying, oh no, if you want that feature, you gotta pay $20 a month. They're like, oh, we got all these other features too um, that you get the full text search for your stuff, uh, shared link controls, you gotta pay for those. Guess what? If you go over here to OneDrive, you don't have to pay for that. They include it in the price of the $99. And look, if you're a user who's just one person in your household and you have one computer and maybe one tablet and one phone, you only have to pay $69.99 or $6.99 for Office 365, one terabyte, same amount of space you get with Dropbox of total storage, and you get Office for the same amount of money. I go with the family plan because we have more PCs, we have some phones, etc. But look at here, expiring sharing links included. They do a 30 day recovery on all kinds of problems. Uh, and you can also do offline, online. But the biggest thing is these files on demand. They also call it the active sync technology. I'm going to show you what that means. So we're going to come here and take a look at my Dropbox. So this is all I can really have on my Dropbox because if I put anything more on it, it would fill up my hard drive. I'm going to right click on my Dropbox, go to settings and my preferences and go over here to sync. And this is called selective sync. And what all of these files I have, but I can't afford to keep this. This is almost a terabyte right here in Dropbox. And I can't have that on my little 256 gigabyte hard drive. So I can only select certain files, which is getting pretty big as it is. Now, here's the difference. When I go to my new OneDrive, which I just updated, everything that is in there is available. It's just on the cloud. It's sort of like you see it when you go to your phone or your iPad or your small device, your tablet. I can see every file that's in all the folders that I have, and it's very quick. And I can come here. Um, images for projects, double click, and I can even see a, a thumbnail preview of it right here. I have to pay $19.99 for that in Dropbox. It's not going to happen. Um, and there I get a preview of all my stuff as I'm coming through. And all of this, it's not on my computer. Right here, it's on my OneDrive, it says it's on my D drive, but notice size on the disk is actually zero bytes. So this is the actual size of the file, it's still very small, but there's nothing on my disk. Now, if I want to bring this down, all I have to do is double click on it and it's going to download it. Open it up and then I could use in a project. Notice when I right click on that same thing now and I go to properties, it's now on the disk. But if I didn't want it on the disk, I could right click on it and say free up space and boom, it's off of there. How do I know for sure? Again, I could do that right click on it, go down to the properties, and there you see the zero bytes, and so it's not there anymore. That quick, I can get to my files, videos, and anything I want. This is huge, and this is why uh, I just can't stay with Dropbox anymore. Because for $9.95, I get everybody in my household that wants it, gets a terabyte of storage space, I only get one terabyte for that price with Dropbox. Uh, I also get Office, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and Outlook. Uh, and you can have a copy on the iCloud. You can get it up on your phone. So it's the same as Dropbox, but you also get 365 for the same amount of money. Hey, man, that's a no-brainer. I'm switching. 
because that's just the money I'm going to spend. I already get Office 365, so I'm saving myself $100 a year. Great. I may use the little free thing that comes with Dropbox for every now and then, but for the most part, is they want to charge me $19.95 to get that same sync that I get now free with these guys? No way. I'm switching. Thanks for watching this video by the Peppy Techie. If you have any comments or ideas, leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.